As always, I would like to thank On Any Moto for allowing me to do this demo and the many other ones that I've done. Not many shops allow this type of riding to happen and those that do are usually incredibly strict with how they go about it. Don't get me wrong, they have their rules. Not everyone can just show up and ride. However, they're willing to accommodate anyone as long as you're not an idiot. <laughs> YouTube, we're on the X-Ram here. Today, I am on a Disidoro 900 from Aprilia, I believe it's the 2018. This is also a second go around because of, once again, my mic being unplugged. Now, when I like to do these demos, I really do like to try different things. This is a bike that is very far out of my comfort zone. It is very different than what I'm used to. It is not a screamer. It's not insanely powerful. It's not a muscle bike. This is an upright commuter. There's no fancy quick shifter. There's no auto blipper. It is just your bare bones cruising type bike. Something you go to and from work on that if you get stuck in a jam, you can pop over a curb and go back the other way. That's what this bike is. And it is superbly comfortable. It sounds pretty damn good too. For a stock exhaust, this bike does sound very nice. If you are a shorter person than six foot, good luck. <laughs> Cause this bike is tall. I am on the balls of my feet right now. And I'm barely touching the ground. So the balls of my feet. The seat is, as you would expect, comfortable. Like I said the power delivery of this is really nice. You know, it's it's not I'm gonna get on the gas and just instantly have a ton of torque and do a wheelie. Nothing crazy like that. But it'll get you in and out of trouble. <laughs> it'll get you moving. It'll get up and go if you need it to to get around traffic. It feels pretty nimble. I'm not sure the weight of it, but it doesn't feel insanely heavy. So what's interesting about this, well not interesting, what's kind of annoying is the shift lights like to kick on at like 5,000 yeah right around 5,000 and then they come up after 5,000 despite the red line and uh, everything else being like 8,000 and above so that's kind of annoying kind of catches your eye a little bit as you're revving out and accelerating you think you're too close to the red line and you'll end up short shifting so that's kind of annoying this bad boy has a few riding modes. I'm in sport right now. I believe there's a rain mode. There might even be a touring. I'm not sure. Something for y'all to go Google. But from what I'm told in sport mode, or not sport, but in rain mode, it, the power is super cut, but manageable. As a employee of On Any Moto had explained to me, he was in a downpour and put it in wet mode and had traction all day got on the gas you even gunned it and it didn't spin or anything it just stayed linear and picked up and went so the electronics of this bike are still really good despite it seemingly being a bare bones motorcycle now as you would expect in six gear you should be able to comfortably cruise and not have to shift a ton and everything else well you get that with this bike. In six gear, cruising at regular city, well, we say city, but country road speed of 45 and 50. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, I love that hill. It 
the motorcycle is just it's just performs you know it, it cruises I keep using that term cruises and the idea behind it is that it just goes there's no bogging you don't need to rev it like crazy it just goes now a lot of problems with these upright bikes especially when you're like me and not really used to them is when you go around a turn you feel like you're gonna topple over and with this particular motorcycle I don't really feel that's the case part of that is because you're not sitting that far out of the center of gravity of the motorcycle you're seated down in it which helps with that feeling oh man just, she still just picks up and goes brakes you know they don't have that bite that bite that I talked about in my other videos it's definitely a little more plush as you were as you grab it it starts to slow down as opposed to being a bike and slow down it's kind of like oh okay and that kind of plays to the demographics that this bike is geared towards said it's meant as a commuter bike so you don't want super grabby brakes to make it a nightmare in traffic the only thing I would say as a commuter bike that might be better is a higher windscreen. Uh, obviously it takes away from the aesthetics of the bike. However, if what you're using it for is simply commuting, then you're gonna want that extra wind protection because, well, why do you wanna get battered by the wind all the time? See that, it just easily leans in, effortless. Now the only problem that I have, and it's really just for me, is motorcycles that make my elbows stick out like this like the multi strata that i rode a little while ago did i end up flaring up my tendonitis in my elbow which i didn't think was possible while riding but apparently in this position when i hold it up it actually irritates me so most upright bikes like that i have this issue with however with this one the bars are swoped it's a little bit farther back so it actually drops my elbow down and actually makes it a good bit more comfortable. All right, let's see some of this power, huh? 100. Like I said, not too much, not too little. 900 cc, smooth delivery. It's a great commuter bike. Am I jumping for joy over it? No. <laughs> It's just it's in my style of bike. But if you wanted an everyday riding motorcycle, something to go to and from work on, this is a good option. I don't know if you can add bags to it. I'm sure you might be able to. It doesn't feel like it gets that hot. Again, I'm in Arizona. It was about 100 degrees out today. And it doesn't I don't really feel any burn in my legs, so that's a good thing considering I'm not really doing highway speeds or anything like that. And see that red line? It's just six grand, it comes up, and it's very misleading. So what do I like about this machine? You know, really all of it. It's it's comfortable, it's easy to ride, it's, the power is very manageable and linear, the brakes are strong but not overpowering and makes sense for where you're going to use them it leads in really easily almost surprisingly easy you don't feel like you're sitting on top of the bike you actually feel like you're sitting in the bike which helps with that that feeling of toppling over when you actually lean into a turn i don't know what the mileage is on this machine i don't know what sort of fuel range it has or anything like that so that's what Google's for but a good all-around commuter uh, one you're driving in Aprilia so that's badass and two it's a 900 cc bike so you're not really gonna get tired of the power because it does have power everywhere I mean six gear roll on at 50 it still wants to pull you so it still has plenty of power I think something this bike could actually benefit from for future models is cruise control. That'd be super. 
So with that, I hope you enjoy this rather quick review of the Aprilia Dusadoro 900. Great everyday commuter bike, something that should be on your list if that is the market in which you're looking. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you end up in the like button, subscribe. If you don't like it, subscribe anyways. There's some fun stuff that's on my channel and some fun stuff that'll be coming out. So with that, you'll have a good one. I'm gonna get out of this 100 plus degree air, get out of this humid air, which is surprising for Arizona, but not when it's monsoon season, and go hop in my AC car with vented seats. <laughs> you all have a good one.